So bad. Isley Jasper Isley was formed uh, when three members of the Isley Brothers decided to reorganize and form a new group. The trio stated at the time that they wanted to take on a new challenge and move in another musical direction. Now, one of the members of that threesome is Chris Jasper, and he broke out on his own now, uh, once again trying to move into another musical direction. Part of that move was the release of his first solo album called Super Bad, and Chris joins us today on video, so not feeling too well either, I may add. Uh, yeah. you kind of you've been bitten by that flu bug bug that's going around yeah unfortunately yeah because of uh, you know all the traveling I've been doing yeah I've uh, been all over the country and um, you know just a few days ago you know kind of got hit with the bug and you know I was down for a few days but I'm trying to bounce back now <laughs> I hope you don't mind if I talk to you leaning back like this <laughs> uh, go ahead <laughs> I, I figured that'd be putting a surgical mask on <laughs> well, I am getting over it though so so you've been out on the road pr pr uh, promoting your album? Yes, yes. I've been uh, to just about every major uh, city in the country. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, this is, you know, the last day that I'll be on the tour. I'll be going back home uh, tomorrow. So I'll be able to get some, some rest then. Yeah, you, know. you must be excited about going back home finally. Yeah, yeah. It's been, uh, well, about three weeks now. So it be good to get back home. But you've done a lot of traveling. I mean, for most of your life you've been doing that, haven't you? Yeah, I've been, you know, traveling, uh, you know, doing a lot of tours and and things with the Isley Brothers, but, uh, you know, now it's a, dif a different thing, you know, everything's on me, so. Yeah. You know. Well, h how do you feel about that? How does it feel to take on all of the pressure? I mean, it, to know it's solely on you, if it happens or not. Yeah, it is a, it's a different consciousness, you know, it is, and it takes a while to adjust to it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and I've, I've adjusted, you know, pretty well, you know, up to now, because first starting, you know, I was thinking about it a lot, you mm -hmm. know, it was on my mind, but. Uh, after I recorded the album, and uh, you know, thankfully, you know, Super Bad was you know accepted very well, mm -hmm. and you know, that that gave me you know more encouragement, and so, you know, now I'm I'm uh, getting used to it. So were you actually, is it safe to say, scared that this might not work out for you? Well, you know, you you know, you, I would say more anxious, you mm -hmm. know, anxious to uh, see, just to see the response, yeah. Mm -hmm. But w in thinking this through, what do you what if it doesn't work? What happens then? Well, uh, if it doesn't work, you, I, I, I'm a composer, and you know, yeah. it's like you scrap the uh, the sheet and start again. You know, that's that's how I look at it. You know, mm -hmm. um, exactly why did you leave uh, Isley Jasper? Well, let me back up before that, before Isley Jasper Isley, and go back to the Isley Brothers. I mean, I know I said in introducing you that it was because you wanted the, a new challenge. You go on to um, a different direction. Is it as simple as that? Or what, what? I would assume that it took a lot of thinking to make a move like that, especially as hot as you guys were as a unit for so many years. Yeah, as the Isley Brothers. Yeah. yeah it, was, uh, it, it was basically um, uh, musical differences within the, within the group and really between the older members and the younger, younger members. Hmm. Um, that, that, that had been happening for a few years before that, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, like 84 was just the point where uh, the three of us younger guys just said, well, we just want to, you know, pursue something else, you know, right mm -hmm. now and go in another direction, and we did. But that had been happening for a while. So was it because the music has cha had changed and the older members were... Uh, combination, not... combination of music and personalities. Oh, know? I see. Uh, you know, they're, um, I think the youngest of the older guys is like, four, you know, 14 years older than me. Mm -hmm. You know, so there was... You know, of course, you know, personality differences and everything. Right. So, yeah, there was, it was like a big uh, age difference between us two. Does it make it any harder or easier to go through something like this because you guys are all related? Uh, it makes it easier. Mm -hmm. it, it, uh, I think if we weren't related, it would have been more difficult. Yeah. What year was it when you joined the group? Um, I think, well, it was, officially it was like 73, like when uh, 3 Plus 3 album. Uh -huh. And when we all six of us first appeared on the cover, that was like right. the official start. But we had done some uh, recording in studio before then, mm -hmm. you know, uh, some years before. But that was like the official beginning. But what was the official beginning for the Isley Brothers? Seems like I can remember back to '62. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, I mean, th for hit records. Um, Way back there, like I think Shout was '61 uh, even. '59. Was it '59? Yeah. I don't remember that. I first want my one. audience to understand that. I don't. 
Yeah, I was, I've read this in history books. <laughs> I was about this tall. I can yeah, remember. Both. I can remember that, yeah, because uh, we can remember hearing it on the radio. You know, we were like, you know, really young. We were playing baseball and stuff. You know, uh -huh. it was really exciting for us. <laughs> <laughs> so, what what is your relationship to the Isley brothers? Your cousin? Uh, well, Rudolph Isley is married to my sister. Oh. He's my brother-in-law. So, but we all grew up together in Ohio, uh -huh. in Cincinnati. You know, from a very young age. I was like three, four years old, you know, when I uh, first met them. Uh -huh. You know, they live like, you know, a few uh, doors actually away, mm -hmm. you know, in, in Cincinnati. So how'd you actually get invited to be a part of the band? Well, the three of us younger guys, we would, we had a trio, and we played uh, dates in New Jersey. And, um, you know, the older guys, they saw us playing. You know, they were at Motown at the time. Mm -hmm. They saw us playing, and they said, hey, you know, guys look like, uh, you know, they can... They, they could uh, be in the business, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, they gave us an opportunity to start recording in the studio with them. That was the first time that uh, we all started doing something together. And from then on, you know, it just grew and grew, you know, up to 3 plus 3. So that's what the 3 plus 3 meant. Right. The first 3 was the old guard and the new 3 was the, right. the new guy. Right. That had to be an awesome experience. I mean, to walk into a, a group like that, you've been here, I mean, even though they're relatives, but you've had all these hit records for all these years. Uh, what what was that like? What was going through your head at that time? Uh, it was scary at first, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, um, being in a studio and uh, recording for the first time. You know, I can remember my hands sweating. You know, <laughs> it was uh, I was really nervous at first, but you know, as as we kept doing it, you know, over and over again, you know, a few takes, uh, and then like about maybe the fourth or fifth recording session, it started. You know. I started getting more comfortable. All, mm -hmm. Actually, all three of us did. But at first, it was really, you know, I was pretty nervous. You know, I, I almost want to ask you who influenced you musically, but I'm afraid you'll say the Isley Brothers. <laughs> because it was, uh -huh. I mean, that actually could be the case, couldn't it? You were so young yeah. when they were making music. But I'll ask anyway. I shouldn't answer the question for you. Uh, sure, they, they were an influence. And um, uh, Stevie Wonder was also an influence uh, on me. Um, I follow his music a lot, Marvin Gaye, um, you know, the, the really the Motown uh, sound, you know, mm -hmm. when we were growing up mm -hmm. was a uh, big influence on us. You know, it's funny you mentioned Stevie because when I heard Superbad, I immediately thought of Stevie Wonder. I'm not mm -hmm. saying that it was, that it was, it's just something in it that mm -hmm. maybe it's the keyboard, the way it starts out, reminds me Probably, something yeah. of superstition or uh, something that Stevie did some time ago. And I could hear that influence there. Yeah. So yeah, well, he listened to Stevie. Yeah, Stevie, uh, he's one of the, the main, you know, keyboard players that I, mm -hmm. I really like. Who's out there new on the scene now that you admire? Oh, gee, uh, <laughs> I can't even think right now, but <laughs> it's a lot of people that, you know, a lot of records that, that, I, that I follow. I follow all the records that are, you know, hits. Mm -hmm on the charts. Okay, with, all, with the Isley Brothers thing, I understand that you, did you all play a part in writing the music and in producing, or did you do more of the writing or producing? Or? Yeah, um, I did, and uh, so did uh, Ernie. Uh, did, you know, most of the writing. And, oh, and, really? Yeah. Most of the writing and, and the production. So, is that something that you would like to do more of? Um, yes. Not just with yourself, but for other artists, would you like to do more production? Yes, I am going to sign some other artists to uh, Gold City uh, this year mm -hmm. and uh, do some production work. So, yeah, I plan to do more, more and more of that. Okay. Well, let's take a look at your video. <laughs> We're back. We're talking with Chris Jasper today, formerly of Isley Jasper Isley, formerly of the Isley Brothers. <laughs> uh, now, I know the Isley Brothers are still in existence, but what, ha what happened to the other Isley and Isley that was, that you were part of, Isley Jasper Isley? Well, um, I was going to uh, record a solo album, and I was also going to record with I IJI, mm -hmm. but um, Ernie Isley uh, left the group, so... Uh, I just had to continue with the solo, yeah. which I did, and, um, you know, IJI is not happening anymore. So, so what is Ernie doing? Uh, I think he's going to do a solo project, too. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Is he the youngest one? Was he the youngest of the group? No, Marvin is. Oh, Marvin is. How old is Marvin? Gee, Marvin is uh, 30, uh, 32 or 34, something But at like the that. time, when, it first, when you guys first joined the group, I mean, he was like 18 or 19 or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, we were all right out of high school. <laughs> 
Yeah. The, the um, song we just played, Super Bad. Right. Um, you see a lot of things in there. Obviously, it's uh, it, you're taking aim at the kids and, yeah. and telling them the importance of education. Why is that important to you? Well, I think that's important, uh, you know, at any time, but especially in this point in time when you know uh, people seem to be you know unaware and actually don't care about a lot of things that's going on and uh, with education um, you know you're able to over overcome many things that you're faced with mm -hmm. so it's a very very important part of your life and I think the young people today should you know focus in on it you know and get a good education mm -hmm. and uh, start to build up their minds and in that way they become super bad yeah well you know I, I even read more than that into it's not just about education it seems that you're promoting just a, a positive image of yourself in that record yeah well you know, it's which written, encompasses so much more than just education yeah it's written in the first person so that anyone could sing it and, and so that it relates to anyone mm -hmm. you know and um, yes education was a big part of my life too mm-hmm you know. yeah, times have changed since, since uh, it seems that since we were kids in yeah. school uh, values have changed yes. and uh, with uh, uh, the drug problem that we face right now. I just want to thank you for having such a positive song <laughs> that we can play because, you know, a lot of times they don't get these messages, but when you put it in a groove like that, mm -hmm. I think it, it helps a lot. Well, I'm just happy to be able to do it. I'm, you know, thankful to be able to do it and for it to be received like it has. You know, I'm just very, very thankful and happy about it. Well, I honestly believe that it's just the beginning for you because, um, I've had this album for a month and a half or so now, so let me tell you, it's been thoroughly digested. I've oh, listened good. to everything on here several times, great. and I think it's one of the best albums out. I've said that on the show before. I mean, it's, it's, well, one cut that immediately comes to mind is Giving My All. Uh -huh. I like that a lot. And uh, I noticed in uh, your credits on the album mm -hmm. that uh, you say to uh, your wife, and I've been giving my all to your wife, Margie. Was right. this song written for her? Yeah, a lot of a lot of uh, well, I should say the both love songs on this album do relate to Margie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How long have you been married? Uh, five years. Uh, Valentine's Day. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> so it's a, uh, you know, it's also we celebrate our anniversary this weekend. Oh well, that's, that's very romantic to get married on Valentine's Day. I love yeah. it. You're yeah. a hopeless romantic, aren't you? Well, actually, it was Margie's idea. <laughs> <laughs> Can't take the credit for that. <laughs> yeah. You have any kids? Oh, uh, yeah. Three kids, yeah. Oh, okay. So, I'll be glad to see them again. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. It's been a while. Yeah. yeah. So. How, how difficult is it trying to uh, raise kids and, and be on the road and keep your career going and you're away from home all the time? Uh, gee, it's, it's, it's difficult, but, uh, you know, fortunately I have, um, you know, offices at home where I can do a lot of work at home. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I don't have to be away that long, you know. So, mm -hmm. you know, we, we manage, you know. Yeah. I would imagine there's a lot of weight falls on Margie's shoulders because of that when you're yeah. gone. Oh, Dad, too. You know, my name is uh, always called in the house, you know. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we kind of share that. Yeah.